let's talk about the personal statement, something that most pre-medical students get pretty nervous about. And rightfully so, the personal statement should be a part of your application that you take very seriously. It is the one area of your application that you're really able to just talk at length about yourself, your qualifications for being a medical student, and why you want to be a doctor. Admissions committees read thousands of applications, and along with that, of course, thousands of personal statements. So it's important that your personal statement stands out. And the reason being is because most admissions committee members, if they start reading a personal statement that is not interesting, is boring, they may just skim it, read a few lines, and then toss it aside. And you do not want your application being tossed aside. You want your application and your personal statement to be one that an admissions committee member starts reading, they get interested, and they say, wow, this person seems very intriguing. I want to write, read the remainder of their statement. That's who you want to be. You want to impress them. You want to captivate them. So let's go over some of the basics for the personal statement. So the personal statement for the AMCAS application is 5,300 characters. That's with spaces. 5,300 characters is about a page and a half typed single space. That's quite long. I really suggest that people do not do the whole 5,300 characters unless their personal statement is just absolutely great. 5,300 characters is a lot to read. And I think with the personal statement, quality is definitely more important over quantity. You want to say what you have to say in a concise, interesting manner and not just expand and try to fill up all that space. Therefore, I recommend keeping this to about a page. So a page, about anything less than a page is not quite long enough. About a page or a page in a paragraph or so, that is kind of the sweet spot where you're really going to keep someone's interest and want it, then they are going to want to keep reading, but then also have enough to say in your personal statement. So how do I go about writing the personal statement? This can be tough. I recommend kind of following a simple structure and the structure being kind of like a basic essay that you wrote in English classes. So start first with an introductory, introductory paragraph. Introductory paragraph arguably is probably the most important part of the personal statement. As I mentioned earlier, you really want those first few lines to captivate the reader. So a lot of applicants think that they need to make the personal statement completely about why they want to go into medicine and try to justify their every reason for going into medicine. And although this should be a part of your personal statement, you don't have to make everything about it. So I see a lot of applicants and it's super common for applicants to start their personal statement with something like, ever since I was a child, I was interested in medicine. Or when I broke my arm as a five-year-old, I remember the doctor treating me so great and with so much empathy. Or I watched a surgeon perform a surgery and knew this is what I'd have to do. These are very, very common ways to start applications. And since they're so common and they're read so often, I recommend trying to avoid them. Think of creative ways to start your, your personal statement. And one way that you can think of this is developing a theme. So in the intro, you want to have some type of theme or at least running ideas throughout your personal statement. And what I mean by this is maybe you've been actively involved in sports throughout your life. So your theme to your personal statement could be something related to teamwork. So going back to those first introductory sentences, maybe you could be something regarding, as I stepped up to the plate, I felt the pressure of making sure I delivered a good hit so that the baseman could score for us. With us only trailing by two and the bases loaded, I knew that this was going to make or break our season as a collegiate baseball team. Something like that. Obviously, I just made that up. It's not perfect. It's not written very well. Um, but see how interesting that is? 
something completely unrelated to medicine, but it definitely kind of captivates the reader. And so maybe that person who was very involved with baseball and sports could go on to talk a little bit more about that game, what they did, and then they'd introduce their theme and maybe the last sentence or two of that opening paragraph. And maybe their theme could be drawing on my experiences on the field. I hope to provide the same type of leadership and teamwork that I have cultivated in baseball in the field of medicine. So it can lead into medicine. So take some qualities that maybe you've developed in your hobbies, your personal endeavors, your activities, and relate those to medicine and bring it all together. And that's gonna really captivate a reader's interest. Introduction, super important. Moving on though, we need to develop some content. So similar to those structured essays that you used to write in English, I recommend in the body of the document about two to three paragraphs. These paragraphs should be experiences that relate back to that theme. So maybe now he's transitioned to talking about teamwork. So maybe his first paragraph could be something I really noticed the teamwork atmosphere when I began researching in the lab studying multiple sclerosis. And he could go on to talk about his experience in that lab and how he used leadership and teamwork and interacted with others. What he's doing there is kind of expanding on his own experiences that really qualify him uh, to be a medical student eventually, but then also trying to emphasize his qualities and strengths. I recommend doing that for the next one to two paragraphs. You can obviously transition this into some clinical experience or some particular interest in medicine. And you should do that in the personal statement. As I said in the beginning, your personal statement should talk about at least why you want to go into medicine to some extent. It doesn't have to be the entire portion, but maybe take some of that par- some of that time in those two to three paragraphs to bring it back to why you want to go into medicine. Finally, a conclusion. Conclusion should be a short paragraph, maybe three to five sentences that brings it all together, ties back into the theme, ties back into those paragraphs, and then you conclude with kind of your next step or that interest in becoming a physician. This is all very vague. It's all very kind of theoretical. It's difficult to put it all together, but hopefully this kind of gives you some idea of how to construct your personal statement or at least start brainstorming it. Few other things about the personal statement. As we mentioned, make it interesting. This is so important and cannot be overstated. You want to make your personal statement interesting and make sure that you are trying to stand out amongst the thousands of applicants that this maybe admissions committee member has been reading. Another thing is you want to develop content that demonstrates your qualities and your strengths. So what I mean by this is similar to our baseball example, this person really talked about teamwork and leadership and things like that. Obviously, he's showcasing his strengths to the missions committee by using his experiences. So keep that in mind. Show them that you have these types of strengths and these qualities rather than just telling them. Another common thing that I see is that instead of applicants talking about themselves, they'll often talk about the strengths and the qualities that they see in others. And usually that's if they shadowed a physician or followed a physician in a hospital, they'll say something like, I saw how empathetic the physician was or how well he communicated with patients. And I knew I wanted to be like that as a doctor. That's not really saying anything about that applicant at all. It's really just focusing on that particular physician. So instead, a stronger way to approach this would be As I work throughout the clinic, I emulated the doctor in trying to find any available resource to the patients. I sat down and spent extra time talking to the patients and getting to know them and being available for them. Minor tweak like that really demonstrates more of what that student and that applicant did rather than what they saw somebody else do. can see how much more of that really emphasizes their strengths and their qualities. That about wraps it up for the personal statement. 
again, this is kind of meant to just start you, start those gears rolling. Start, this is really just meant for you to have those gears start turning, start thinking about ideas and how to put this actually on paper. The personal statement is going to take a few drafts. You're going to edit and you're going to edit more. As you start early on, ask some people that know you very well. What are some of my specific qualities or my unique strengths that I can emphasize in the personal statement? Oftentimes, somebody outside yourself, of course, can view yourself differently and be able to make suggestions on strengths that you can emphasize or themes that you can use throughout your personal statement. And of course, let med school coach know if you need help. Uh, We've edited thousands of personal statements and our advisors are really good about picking out that uniqueness and bringing that into a consistent theme throughout your personal statement.